No Muhammad Ali. Uh, it came good, is that? Graffiti artist, yeah. He's done loads of murals around it. Uh, it's culminated in this. A convoy of lorries, vans, ambulances. They're going to go from here, UK. They're going to go around, collect blankets, food, money. And they're going to drive from England to Gaza. Gaza? To Gaza. Right. And he's putting a message on there. Viva Palestine. Palestine means free Palestine. Mm -hmm. On the other side, he's going to have free Gaza. Yeah. You know where uh, Abulan is? He's going to get him to you as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No time, bro. No. <laughs> I was telling you, I told him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only doing one van, I can't do all of it. Yeah. My name's Naheem Khan. I'm a local council, uh, local councillor for the Respect Party in Spartanburg in Birmingham. Uh, my involvement in this whole uh, Free Gaza and Viva Palestina has been uh, has been going on for a very long time, but obviously since the attack happened in December 2008, we've actually got a lot more involvement, a lot more ra raising awareness and everything as well. The convoy that's going out to uh, Gaza has raised so much awareness. I mean, initially we were supposed to take was one ambulance, one fire engine, and one truck. Now we're looking about over a hundred vehicles going. In. This van will be going through be going. France, Spain into Palestine, inshallah, hopefully, with aid for the Palestinians. Great piece of art, as you see. Viva Palestina. In Spanish, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. There's so much aid at the moment that's waiting on the border to actually go into Gaza. And what we're trying to do with the aid convoy is to raise awareness on the way, yeah, and of course, uh, like, like internationally, let everybody know in the, in the Arab world and everything, that there's this convoy coming of over 100 vehicles with so many people bringing aid as far as the UK and the fact that we're coming from here and that you should open up the border, the Rafah border, so that our aid can go in and all the other aid that's already on the border as well, we take that in as well. I'm so French. Okay. <laughs> I'm Paris. It's talented this one. It's talented. My name is Yassin and I'm, uh, I, I see what uh, Mohammed have done and that uh, wall. And we, can, and we support Mohammed and we really appreciate what we have done. And we want to just participate. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. where, where is it you from? I'm from uh, Saudi Arabia. I think art is, uh, you can express yourself in art. So it's like a message. It's like writing. It's like uh, when you're in the media. It's the same thing. Because when you see the art, especially when it's uh, so expressive and you can see how emotional it is. And you've seen Mohamed Ali's uh, other work? Yeah, I've seen some. And, uh, you know, how do you think the message uh, travels through? I think it's very nice messages because it's all uh, saying good things. Like the one, uh, I've seen one here about reading, read, and uh, uh, some about feed the poor people. So it's all giving good messages to people to help other people. Yeah. My name is Adin and I'm from Bosnia and I'll be inshallah going on to convoy to Gaza on the 14th of this month. There's sisters who are driving trucks, there's brothers who are driving trucks, there's uh, young, old, all sorts of top people going on this convoy. And uh, what, what, what actually has been donated for this? Uh, food, medicine, clothing, toys, blankets, tents, sleeping bags, you name it, money, cash donations. So there will be loads of uh, sleep. Hello, hello. Free Palestine! Free, Good man. Free Palestine! Good man. Salahuddin! Allahu Akbar! No, no. What sort of human being we, we are if we're just sitting and watching TV and don't do nothing for these people over there? If I had small little children in orphanages, in nurseries, singing nursery rhymes and suddenly by no, by no fault of their own, they, they were fully destroyed and the whole school was destroyed. We think to ourselves, where are those lost children who we will live for? We live for our children. The most dear thing to us is our children. And I ask all the world leaders of this world, please look at your consciences and fear the day when your creator will ask you, what did you do with the life I blessed you with? Think with your consciences. But when you see visions like this, they inspire thoughts inside you. They're a means of expression. They're very peaceful. They're very humble. And they wish to express their desires. 
We need to see the lands free. And when we need more people like these who can do this sort of thing, because this is the street vibe, as they call it, the street culture. We ask the sisters of the world, we ask the brothers of the world, go to the colleges, put these on the walls, because when these politicians will drive by in their long Mercedes and their limos and they see that, they will know the dream is alive. God is great. I'm your everyday guy. Palestine will be free one day. I wish, I hope to live and see the day. Allahu Akbar. Thank you, brothers. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee, no one can spray like Muhammad Ali. Oh. My name's Zaid, Zaid from Sparkbrook Pharmacy. Some medical supplies, some dressings and, uh, and antibiotics. Uh, do you want to globally promote this? So that's what we've sort of bought, so I'll uh, just offload it and uh, you can get it in your van. Here we are in the streets of uh, Sparkbrook in Birmingham here with the Gaza van completely behind me uh, only a few days before he goes on his convoy full of aid to directly to Gaza inshallah Really, already this van has been causing a lot of attention as it drives around the streets of Birmingham. People have been looking at it with, you know, in surprise, you know, a van, a visual public message, really, a mobile message that is speaking about the situation. And eventually it will be going the streets of Gaza as well. So the young children will be seeing this message and seeing the support that they have, you know, all the way on the other side of the world from Birmingham. So really it gives me great joy and pleasure to know that I'm able to do something. It might not be much, but uh, just bringing a bit of color to the, to the lives of the people in Gaza. Whatever your talent is, use your talent in a way to try and make change in the society because what's going on, we have to speak up, we can't be silent.